Yep, we're here today um, with multi talented Rick Antonio. Thank you, brother. You know, we just we've been I've been following these challenges for a minute, man. This yeah. I'm tripping challenges. I've yeah. been seeing you working. I've been seeing you your comedy, your music, your, I've been seeing you do a lot of shit. So good looking, brother. You know, I've been following so as soon as I started, you know, I already got and tapped in with you. With That's that. love, bro. That's and, love. You know, we can start just you know, tell me about yourself, your background, where you grew up at, where you from? Man, Richmond, California. Yeah. Big year. Whole life grew up in the rich, man. Shout out to the rich. Um, that's where my background pretty much primarily come, come from. You know, moms and dad both from Richmond. So I have a heavy thorough background throughout the entire rich, really. Right. To be honest, yep. Throughout my child throughout my childhood, I kinda journeyed throughout the entire rich. So I kinda got a love uh relationship with with right, with right. the rich as a totality, yo. So you got a little seasoning from every side yeah, of that. For mostly. sure. Yeah. Yep. I got family, yeah. like literal blood family members from each side of the rich. So you know what I mean? That right. shit hurt when when one of us go down for cause for me, I'ma feel that shit regardless of uh, what side it fall on, you exactly. know what I mean? So yes sir. Shout out to the rich. Yeah, yeah shout out Rich man. Yes sir. Yeah, we got um so you know, we, we can talk about a few things. You know, you got you 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 produce you you make beats you rap yes sir you shoot your own movies you got yeah. a movie independently we work independent working. all yes, independent sir. yes so sir we, I don't know which one we can start with first what <laughs> you start what you start doing I first I mean uh, he say what I start doing first that's an interesting question uh shit what I start doing first shit. Probably, um, was it rapping? Was it being a comedian? It might be comedian. You know, niggas start. I, I would say, okay, that's a, that's a, that's a, you, you right. Cause, uh, being a comedian started from the pain and shit. That started from seeing the struggles, seeing the hurt, seeing, seeing the, the ugliness of life at an early age. Right. That started from like, shit, how we gonna, how we gonna keep going in this shit? Like, how is it gonna, how a nigga gonna keep going in life? Like I had to figure out some way to cope with what I had going on and what I was forced to see um, younger than I was supposed to see. You get what right. I'm saying? So that that's really the core of my comedy. It start from like a damn nigga, like shit. That shit tough at home. That shit tough in reality. What can I do to kind of loosen this up and to keep going? Because I oh, honestly, because I ain't gonna lie to you, if it wasn't for comedy, I might have went insane. Like yeah, literally, it, 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 it was to laugh. Sometimes it was to laugh, not laugh. to cry, yeah, bro. Yeah. On mamas, it was to laugh, not to cry. If it wasn't for this comedy and being able to have fun in class and at school, like school was fun. It wasn't no, like it wasn't to learn. I wasn't there to learn, but I ain't gonna right. lie to you. You feel me? Because social, it's a social event. It, it, it was a big social. I was learning at the, at the house. I was learning in real life. You right. feel me? I was learning real life, big daddy, big boy lessons. You feel me? Right. So when we got to school, it was to have fun and to and, and to release to enjoy ourselves. So shout out to comedy. I would say you write and saying comedy probably was the first thing because it damn near had to be. It was my first kind of outlet. It was like, damn, nigga, we gonna laugh at it or we or we gonna cry at it or we gonna laugh at it. Like, right. you know what I mean? So, hell yeah. Yep, comedy been a big part of a nigga life from the beginning, bro. Okay, what about, um, as far as like, when you, when you, so when you start rapping, basically, after that, when you, when you decide to pick up a mic? Uh, I would say the mic, it, it probably started like, a similar thing like as an outlet we got let me let me use the top as an ashtray so good looking i would say uh rapping started as the same thing as like a release as like a creative release too like to get like some ideas out um me and cuz was talking about it earlier that shit probably started like turntables exactly we is my so i i was uh i was in foster care staying with my uncle right and so aunt my brother a jeezy he was uh he was rapping and shit. At this time, I wasn't really rapping. I was producing, playing music and shit, right? right. And so, a hey, Jeezy had the turntables in his room. My brothers, my cousins, we all used to be in the room, nigga, freestyling. They they really used to be doing it. I was right. really in the playing music stage of my life at this point. You feel right. me? I used to be watching these that niggas Benny go. Beat us. Huh? That Benny Oh, uh, big Benny Seagull <laughs> shit, nigga. I can feel it in the air. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas, started, huh? uh, mamas, niggas was big freestyling. So I was playing the background though. I was kind of watching it and kind of at that point, like, 
these niggas was the forefront of rapping shit. Right. And I was watching them, admiring like they, how I bold these niggas was to be out there. And so basically what it was, bro, check this out. In my brother AGZ room, right? My uncle bought this nigga some turntables. He bought me a big ass keyboard because I was playing music and producing at that time. But he bought AGZ some turntables. So it used to be like, nigga, five of us cousins, me and my brother, maybe more than five, right? And we had like big Tigger in the basement type shit, nigga. Right, right. In my brother's room, nigga, we had the turntables rocking with the beat and shit. A nigga step up, he got to go for 15, 20, 30 seconds. Nigga, he got to get it off his chest, off the top of the dome. The other cousin or the brother right behind him, nigga, right. to do the same thing. Nigga, yeah, we all was, line, yeah. yeah, exactly. We was in there assembly line. You got to go, nigga. And so we was freestyle battling, nigga, and doing that shit off the top of the dome from the beginning, bro. Back in the room, that shit was, we was shit, 13. <laughs> right, we was cuz was telling me we was we was going to the store to buy five dollar burritos. Nigga, and split it between so maybe three of us would buy five dollar burritos, and out of eight of us, nigga, we would split that motherfucker. We would be right. freestyling that motherfucker. So we was grinding since early cousins, bro. We brother shit like doing the music. So yep, I would say that was probably my earliest like inspiration. One of the earliest inspirations for music is like watching my cousins cousins and brothers go crazy like right. and, and then participating in that and them giving me the confidence to feel like i had something to say and shit too that shit was mm -hmm. rough bro we we'll never forget that shit that's what's up yes, so, sir. so then about what happened first time you went to the studio mm -hmm. what was that like hey shout out to my uncle steve man it's forever shout out to uncle steve too because uh yeah, big shout out to Uncle Steve. He uh, he was in the music shit first. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, Uncle Steve was doing music first, baby, for all of us. You feel me? For anybody. Big album <laughs> shit. You feel before me? Kirk Franklin. Nah, hello, hello Kirk. <laughs> <laughs> so Uncle's doing his shit, right? And so during our our foster care journey, we landed with Unc. Shout out to Unc because Unc took care of us for a long time. From when I was twelve to eighteen, Unc took care of me. You feel me? So well, that's when you was in foster care. Exactly. That's a big pivotal ass time in, in in your life you feel me like from 12 to 18 you feel me so a lot of that yeah. shit shaped me you feel when, me? yeah that's when you kind of become a you know a young man as you you growing up from 12 to, from 12 to 18 that's middle school all through your high school and to, to your adult shit you feel me so shout out to unk because at about baby 12 and 11 or 14 12 he took me and my little brother hey, Jesus, to the studio for our first time and that was our first time hearing ourselves on the mic through the headphones over music like to hear that shit you became like hella like i don't know that shit intrigued you like a motherfucker you was like bro what the fuck? that's you how feel my famous you yeah, feel like you, you, you that you, part you feel like you made it and you ain't never heard your voice outside of your head right you feel me you hear that shit in your head that come with a vibration and and the whole shit but when you hear it over a track or a recording it's a whole different version of how you sound so shout out to uncle steve i'll never forget that shit man he took us to the studio and that that intrigued me like a motherfucker and had me running bro so shout out to Unc, hey. Uh, Uncle Steve, man. Yeah. Uncle Steve, man. Shout out to Uncle Steve. That's forever. Shout out to Uncle Steve, man. You feel he yeah. took his niggas in when they was 12. You feel me? The 18, man. That's forever. Shout out to Uncle Steve, man. If it wasn't for Unc, I really don't. That's his godfather, too. If it wasn't for Uncle Steve, I don't know where niggas would be at. Man. Yeah. You feel me? Shout out to Uncle Steve, man. Yeah, so what about this going viral? Like you, you done been, you done went viral a few times. Like you, like you got the recipe or something. <laughs> <laughs> viral. What's up with this going viral and people recognizing you in public and shit? Man, good looking, brody. Uh, I've been going viral for a minute. The viral thing been um, when I took a step back from music. Like a lot of people might know me for music and like earlier in travels of that shit. But like when I took a step back from that, I started focusing on going viral and doing hella comedy videos right. and shit. So one of the first little uh, comedy concepts I was doing was this. Uh, it was called Who Got It? It, no, it's called Who Did It. So it was like a Who Did It series. It was basically like I, I acted like a murder had get, had been committed, mm -hmm. and it was my job to kind of, or, or it was actually the uh, the person who planned the other character's job to figure out who did the murder. So I was playing different characters like Shaq and and uh, fuck, just hella different characters I was creating and shit. And so it's on I, YouTube right now. This still on YouTube. Well, 
those were on YouTube. That's like older, older. You took them down? That's like my very beginning of comedy. So before this Instagram shit and this TikTok came where you made short ass videos and shit, right. I was making 10 minute, 15 minute, 18 minute elaborate ass comedy videos to get my shit off. This before Instagram, the app, the app was invented. Nigga, right, it wasn't right. even it, oh, yeah, it it's pre, yeah, it's pre. It's pre that, you feel me? So I was putting most of that on Facebook and on YouTube getting my comedy off and kind of like improv and comedy like so if i turn into shack i was improv and shack nigga for 15 minutes i was my, my i was cross and doing the voice right. yeah. <laughs> i was doing the whole shit for 15 minutes you feel me so that's where um and that's where like i was kind of started the viral shit i started gaining my following and then i started to do this like um uh, this uber comedy series and so I would pretend like anybody that was in the media, they just hopped in the back of my Uber car. So like uh, the, the one that went hella viral and shout out to my amigos, it was El Chapo. So I did an El, Ch El Chapo <laughs> just escaped. Nigga, I woke up that morning, nigga, El Chapo escaped. For a nigga like me that's doing the internet shit, that's like a blessing. You right. feel me? You get a nigga like that escaping. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, a big shit. Yeah, you yeah, can yeah. flip that all kind of ways. So at that time i was doing the uber comedy shit and so i pretend like el chapo just hopped in my in my uber car you feel me so i turn around and then boom they go el chapo i be like el chapo what's up man you ain't supposed to be in my uber car nigga mm. i just dropped my cousin off he a felon and then i was like uh no nah, i can't take you to donald trump house nigga <laughs> but i can show you on google maps man when i say that motherfucker went so viral all the mexican pages on instagram and everywhere bro they was fucking with me bro that shit so that was one of my first viral videos when it come to going viral right. that shit was going insane bro so yeah the el chapo shit the uh the uber comedy a lot of people who follow me now they're not familiar with the uber comedy but that was my one of my sparks to get me further you know what I mean? Yes, sir. And that led me to the E40. Ooh, when I went viral for the 40 ship. Got a lot of people know that can I get a water though? Can I get a water? Saha. What's up, Saha? <laughs> so after that, right? Mm-hmm. So as far as this comedy shit, you know, that shit kinda hard. And you, you know, you you done did shows and shit, you know, you did comedy shows and shit like that. Like, how was that? I know that shit kind of, was it funny? Your first one funny? Was your first, what was it? Right. So, as far as, like, as far as stand-up shit, that hasn't been something I delve into yet. But I've done, like, hostings and different things of that nature. The the more comedy realm I live in is more of, like, the the skits. Like, as far as, like, online comedy skits, I got hella shit that it went to a million views. Right. Hella times. Like, I done done that. Like, been posted by DJ Pooh, been posted by Snoop Dogg multiple times, been posted by 40 multiple times. Like, all of these artists out there that fucked with me, like, from World Star to fucking, I done been on uh, Good Morning America, like, different shit that I don't necessarily even speak on that I've been on and achieved. So, in the actor realm, that's been, or in the comedy realm, that's been more of the uh, so you didn't read world. Good Morning America. In. Man type shit, man. That hey, I you read Good Morning America, nigga. Yeah. That's that's different. That, that's nah, different shit. Hold on, man. Like, he caught that. I don't yeah, even. That's some different I shit. I don't even put no, that out. Yeah, ain't no regular Good Morning America. I, nigga, I, I tried to slide by it. Yeah, yeah, like, <laughs> yeah no. Nah. I tried to just. Yeah, he don't know. I, Nowhere that, near it. That ain't Channel 2 news. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> that ain't my boy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Dennis nah, Richard. That, that ain't Dennis. So I think Dennis Richard may been holding this down since the 90s, right? I thought that is interesting for the rich, but I claimed you, man. It's on yeah, oh, everything. Real, man. <laughs> he didn't get everybody a shout out. We we didn't seen him for a long time. <laughs> a long time. He retired, didn't he? he, he I think he a bit a bit of years, years ago. Yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah, shout out to Dennis Richard, right? For the rich. You feel me? Grew up. <laughs> <laughs> he from the heart. <laughs> And they just gave him a place to be on. Huh? From the rich, <laughs> right? He gotta be from the rich. What side he from? <laughs> he doing the news too close. He from the whole ridge, nigga. <laughs> he from West Richmond. <laughs> did um like as far as going viral, right? Yes, sir. Like when did you did you start monetizing early, or did you when did you figure out the part like as far as monetizing? Because I know people early on, mm -hmm. the millions of views and shit, they didn't even get their money from me because they didn't know that you know they didn't that know how part. to do the business part. I, I, that's a good question too. I think part of that. Uh, business was hit to the people who was like kind of connected to um whether it was instagram or to this social media shit and they kind of had a little bit more game than kind of us 
people who was creating out of passion. Like a lot of my shit was just created out of this is how I feel. This is how I want to make the world feel. This is how I know what comedy has done. I know comedy has made me feel good through some hard ass times. So I want to make people feel like that too. Right. So for me, that's where that shit has came from. You feel me? So I wasn't even up on the monetization shit early. Like right, right. hell nah, not at all. I was just doing it out of the pure love and out of the pure of trying to get this shit back to the people. I know what a comedy is meant to me, nigga, coming up in the rich, coming up in this bullshit. You feel me? And like I said, if it wasn't for the funny shit and laughing and being able to smile through this shit, cause like a, a nigga damn near would have went psycho, nigga, like crazy. So for me, it's meant more than just the monetization and shit like that. But you are right though. Like now we live in a whole world of where like you can capitalize on your persona or on your page or on yeah. your channel and the whole shit. And that's what type of time it is, yo. Yeah, because them millions of, like, you got to think, you going far away back then, you'll have Bank hundreds of thousands of subscribers and shit right now. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Niggas, niggas, niggas wasn't even up, exactly. Wasn't even up on that back then. You right, though. Yep. Yeah, because I've been, I've been, I see now, you know what I'm saying, like you was just talking to shot. He telling you all this different monetization shit. You know yep. what I'm saying? Exactly. And, and some people up on it more than others. Like, I've been doing the uh, the viral thing down there since MySpace, bro. I've been finding out how to uh, make the most of the internet. I I, fe I figured since MySpace, it was like a uh, it was a um, some shit that you can make money off of. Whether it's that's making a following, whether that's building some music, nigga. Whether that's gathering people who in a niche, they fuck with what you do. The whole shit. Like, I've I been new that since MySpace. So, I've been capitalizing on that for yeah, a long it's a, time. It's now, a tool. Bro. It's a tool. It you got to use tool. that shit as a tool. Exactly. It just depends on what you use it for. Exactly. Like, That's all it is. You can use it to get rich or you can use it to waste your motherfucking life the away. Bullshit if you want up on it. Yeah. Exactly. And fuck up. You can use it to fuck up your relationship as well, man. Yeah, it depends on all what you want to use. Yeah, you can damn <laughs> sure do that on <laughs> that What you want to use the social media yeah, for, man. Anything you want to use it for, it's there. I found money on it a while, a long time ago. So I've been yeah. just using it like that for a while. Yeah, that's you the know? best way to use it. People figure you use your whole life, but you really, uh, I think you really give people an experience. You feel me? You give people what you want to give them. And that yeah that shit raw bro like shout out to my following who been following me for a while or new or whatever the case may be like shout out to y'all for keeping independent grinders and entrepreneurs and shit like that out here going man yeah. that shit is very important that's what we started this shit for matter of yes, fact sir. shout your you know shout your channel out shout shout all your shit out yes bro. sir please follow me on the gram i am ricky antonio follow me on Inst on uh youtube as well ricky antonio channel you'll be able to get uh familiar with my movies my comedies i've been going like he said i've been going viral for a while man we talking 10 15 years before instagram was here man some of y'all started when instagram and tiktok came around <laughs> i was getting a million views before that type of shit so shout out to um us ogs in this kind of internet kind of game who've been kind of doing this shit for a while so fool with it we in i'm doing it out my pocket you feel me i'm doing it out my mind on my creation on my heart and on my passion so Support people like that. Yes, sir. For sure, support the independent, you know. Oh, that's what this shit about. I'm trying to highlight the everybody that's grinding, especially from the back. Out everybody the mud, that, man. Yeah, and the behind-the-scenes people, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want to show, like, you ain't just got to be the nigga in front of the camera. You ain't just got to be the star to get some money, you it's know what I'm saying? a lot of money in this, man. Yeah, it's a lot of money. It's my, damn near more money sitting behind this shit. Yeah, 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 for yeah, sure. That's the funny-ass part. Yeah. Yeah, people don't realize that, but it yeah, really money is. behind the scenes. I think that in front, it gets you the money, but it gets you other opportunities also to yeah. get money by for being sure. in front. For sure. But the behind the scenes, you know, when you, when you locked in on the right shit behind, that's it. I would say also... RP to PMB Rock, because that being in camera, being in front of the camera shit come with a whole nother uh, shit yeah, yeah. as well. You feel me? Because yeah. being in front of it, like, it comes with the target. Yeah. You feel me? You feel me? Like, if you behind it, niggas don't even know. Yeah. Niggas barely know what Slim look like out this motherfucker, right? Yeah. But you see Baby come through the neighborhood, yeah, man. Yeah, you know exactly who he is. <laughs> I ain't yeah, gonna say that's target. Baby Brian yeah. Wales, man. Be at your son, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> whether it's a good target or a bad target, you yeah. target. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. People just, the notoriety, whether it's good or bad, it just come with something. So, you know, yeah, yeah. it depends on what lens people looking out of. They might be looking out of a whole negative lens that ain't got shit to do with you and right, where, right. where you come from, you feel me? So that's the shit you gotta be aware of, for sure. Yeah, because a lot of, this, it's a 
lot of rappers been dying. When you look at this last love. Man, R.I.P., bro. It's a lot of rappers been dying from People whatever been, kind of shit, but they've been LA, dying. Exactly. In L.A. And, and I mean, she, I mean, shout out to L.A., but uh, yeah, yeah. I, I definitely. It ain't sweet like they like people yeah, think. They don't understand I, that shit for real. But California. Exactly. I feel like, I was about to say, I feel like that's what anywhere you go, though. And the tap in shit ain't even on some on some punk shit. It's really on some like let the people know who familiar with the area, nigga. That you in the area. You better nigga. get with your people. They, it's the difference. It's one thing anywhere. if you paying. There's, they they look at it two different ways. You know, you got the, the if you paying exactly, on some right. security bullying shit. That's one thing. <laughs> that's but a whole I mean, other yeah, that's a different. But just as far as. Yo, know, people. As you know far as, bro, you from Vallejo, nigga, this your city, nigga, I'm out here, like, nigga. Yeah, so wherever you from. Y'all got LA? I'm at, huh? Y'all be tapping in. Oh, shit, I ain't I, big enough. I don't know nobody. <laughs> <laughs> well, for yeah, me, right. as far as that question, I know a lot of people who know LA a lot better than me. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I'm from the Bay, bro. I'm from the rich. I know Richmond like the back of my hand. Yeah. L.A., even though that's six hours away and that's still in California, nigga, that's a whole different terrain, bro. I don't know L.A. like that, nigga. I go out there and pretend, nigga, but yeah. I don't know that shit yeah, like that. No, that's way so different. when I go to L.A., do I talk to somebody who live out there? Hell the fuck yeah, nigga. Yeah, hey, bro, I'm coming, nigga. What's up? What we doing? What clubs we going? You need them pointers. You need them. Oh, hey, nah, that ain't, the, that ain't the stove. That ain't yeah. the... You better that ain't that. necessarily yeah, the yeah, Roscoe's yeah. we should go to. Yeah, don't go to it's that. There's five, six, seven up more of them yeah. motherfuckers. Yeah, you, need, you, need a, you need that. Hold on, let me say it like this. I've went to LA and a nigga told me the Roscoe I was gonna pull up, but it wasn't the Roscoe to go to, and I That's went to true. a different one. Like, like literally. That's true. You feel me? Like it's different. That literally has happened, bro. So hell yeah, that shit ain't on some. Yeah. I don't for, for me. I don't feel it's on some extortion, some bitch shit, some sucker shit, or none of that, bro. I'm not from there, nigga. If you were That's coming simple. to the rich, who, if you went shit, to China, you ain't call me, nigga. Who yeah. they call if they don't know nobody? Exactly. <laughs> I'm gonna call somebody I know familiar <laughs> yeah. with. And you come to the rich, nigga. You might as well call somebody. That's shit. Like, but like, say you go out to Kansas City. Uh huh. Who you know in Kansas City you gonna call to be like oh. shit? <laughs> and, and, and then you off Instagram. Like, <laughs> yeah, I was about to say <laughs> shout out to <laughs> LA fans, huh? You said you had that fan. Hey, you took the shit right off my mind, man. Because I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> shit, I'm posting on Instagram first, hey man. A real nigga touching down. Yeah. What a real nigga. Say? Tell them. <laughs> Yeah, we want to get into that too about you when you went to shoot that movie, yeah. man. How how that fan tapped in with? Oh uh, man, hey, tell shout, us about that. Shout out to my guy, man. Uh, you know. Fans are also, you know, supporters. They down there become family, bro. So, bro, like a family member at this point. You right. feel what I'm saying? Like, and last year I, I made a return to music back in January and I dropped it with my whole new Get Doe merchandise. So I was excited about this merchandise and shit. The music was kind of like the back burner. Right. It was kind of like, let's drop the music with the merchandise because we finna, this merchandise finna go crazy. That's kind of like was the idea. So, um, I put the I'm tripping track, the last one. It was the last one on the CD and shit. I wasn't even tripping off that track. Uh, no pun intended. No pun intended. Ooh, don't have me jump into my back real quick, right? Hold on, Saha. Your bag, man. Saha, hold on, man. Don't have me jump. <laughs> I'm mean, yet to up my whole story and jump into my viral back on the ass, Saha. <laughs> I might just jump into my 40 back and then what the fuck they gonna tell me? Huh? <laughs> hold on, so look, I went to LA, right? And so, shout out to my boy Teo, man, because uh, we landed in L.A., and I was trying to figure out what to shoot. I really landed out there because I had made my return to music and shit, and the, and the, uh, the energy was kind of loud at the point. And I was like, huh, I feel like I'm supposed to go to L.A., bro. So I went out there, bro, just on some shit like I've been meaning to go out there and network. A lot of influencers and different people out there, they've been telling me to touch down. They've been fucking with my shit, my energy and shit that I give out. For the for the years and shit So they was like Bro touch down We wanna do some shit with you So shit, I just touched down With no itinerary I was like Nigga I'm finna go out there And make the most of it Bro whether I touch down With somebody Or not I got some, I'm a creator I'm an independent creator Cause I don't need nobody Cause I can start with a blank chalkboard And create a masterpiece Off that motherfucker Cause right. there ain't gotta be Nobody in the room <laughs> When I made I'm tripping There wasn't nobody in the room Bro It wasn't a soul in there bro and I said, starting in the rich, now we on the radio. Then I called my brother and told him to pull up and put a verse on that motherfucker. He right. wasn't in there helping me create that. Like, so so I'm like that. So when I went to L.A., I was like, bro, whether it's somebody here or not, nah, nigga, I'm, I'm finna, finna create. Make, yeah, nigga, I'm like, finna figure it out. Some magic finna happen, bro. I'm finna make something happen. So when I touched down, my boy Teo, who had been following me for some years and supporting what I had going on, he was like, bro, 
if you out here, because I got a whole apartment right next to the Staples Center that look crazy, bro. If you want to record there or got anything, footage or whatever you want to do, right. pull up. I'm not even in town, though. I ain't so even he here. ain't in town. So he's saying he not in town. Okay. Tayo, the dude who hit me up on Instagram right. in the DM wasn't even in L.A. When he telling me, nigga, come to my apartment and film if you want to, I ain't here, though. I'm going to let the front desk know, the people ring you up and shit, right. that you come in to record and what you're coming to do, and they'll let you right up to my high rise that overlooks Stable Center. Mm -hmm. And that's where we recorded the original I'm Tripping at right out, out looking Stable Center. And it's right? this straight off this somebody supporting you, a fan. Hey, I would say, I would say this, man. Shout out to people who follow you, people who believe in you, man, people who support you, because sometimes that'll be strangers more than your family members, bro. Mm -hmm. It'll be the For people sure. that are like, they're like, you ain't never even met or shook hands with or shared a laugh with or a memory with, nigga. That'd be the most supportive of what you got going on. No, for sure they will. So definitely shout out to him, bro, because I touched no, I down and with no itinerary. He shot me that, and that sparked off for me to do the I'm Tripping movie. I wasn't even thinking about it when I touched down, but when he gave me the player-ass spot in front of the staple, right. I was like, yeah. what else I was supposed to do? Yeah, let, me think, let me get as much oh, as possible. <laughs> Right. Hey, he said, "If you want to shoot a skit or something, I yeah. said a skit. I'm nigga. shooting the whole movie. Yeah, it's a movie, <laughs> God. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly how it happened. It's a movie, bro. That's exactly. Shout out to Tao. Thank you, brother. Uh, I'm tripping. The original one, man, featuring me and AJZ. I produced oh, yeah, yeah, that yeah. shit. We got to get on that. Now I'm tripping. Yes, sir. So that's what's going on right now. I see Whoa. Fab just just did a Whoa. what's the name for you? What you say? What you yeah. say? Fab just shouted you out today. He just jumped on that thing. Daddy, right? shout out to Fab, man. Hey, look, man, we just dropped the I'm tripping remix featuring Mr. Fab and Mitchy Slick, man. You feel me? Yeah, it I is going that. up. We dropped the music video too. It's on the Ricky Antonio Tell page. You had Slick at. Huh? Tell him where you had Mitchy Slick. Oh man, we had Mitchy Slick. In the rich, in the rich nigga. <laughs> we had Mitchy Slick from San Diego in Richmond, California, man. Uh, Shout out right. to hey Mitchy Slick, bro. Thank you, man. Always for uh fooling with us. He fooled with us the whole weekend. He ain't just do the video yeah. shoot. Nah. He, no. The night before, around. the night before, we threw a whole concert, bro. We mm. threw a I'm I'm tripping uh remix listening party mm. where I had I had that motherfucker in Pano. Well, Mitchie Slick got on the microphone and rapped and, and tore the whole building down, bro. I rapped. Work Dirty came through. Uh, Bully Wiz. I mean, we was yeah. Trill Lee. We was, it was boy. It was a movie. Yeah, I got an interview lined up. I'm feeling a lot of an interview with Work Dirty, too. Oh, Work? Hey, shout out to Work, man. Uh -huh. That's the G. He came through, ripped it down. So, shout out to Mitchie. He came all the way from San Diego, man. Fool with us for the entire weekend. Not just the video shoot. He came and showed love to the whole rich at the concert, man, and yeah, that's a real dude. Shout out to Mitch. Yeah. Shout out Mitch. Shout out Mitch. Shout out Mitch. Yeah, so. Fabby Davis know what it is. And man. this is part two. This I'm tripping. Okay, you, so look, yeah, we dropped the original that. I'm tripping back in uh it was I think it was March last year, right? Mm -hmm. With me, it was Ricky Antonio featuring A Jeezy, which is my little brother. Like literally my blood little right, brother. Right. Like so it it was featuring him. It was a track I did. Shit, I produced that motherfucker in my living room. On this track, you can hear me say, starting in the rich, now we on the radio. So when I was producing it, I was feeling like, man, this feel like it's on some radio type, like some type of dope ass club, like real, like bigger, like a big song is what it felt like. So in the original song, when I did record that, I said that in it, you feel me? So that's the original one featuring me and AGZ produced by me from start to finish. <laughs> and so here we are, shit. A year later, after having that go stupid viral on TikTok and Instagram and Facebook and it and on every social media uh, site you can imagine, it didn't went crazy viral. So a year and a half after having it do that, we threw Mr. Fab and Mitchie Slick on the remix. You feel me? So, I mean, shit. I, after leaving music alone for so long and, and revisiting it and having Mitchie Slick and Mr. Fab on the remix, I mean, it really... It ain't shit they can oh, it ain't shit they can tell me, man. They can't you tell me nothing. Like literally. So that's why I started that's why I, I if you listen to the remix, I say, hold on, my my mic tripping a little bit. 
think I'm on the fuck with it. Okay, he back now. So that's why on the remix, you hear me say that shit? What I say? <laughs> I ain't tripping off shit that they got to say. Man, they gave me my whole day like it's a holiday. Yes, got a burrito yeah. in my damn. I'm really getting care. So tell them to call us double up or really get our pesos. <laughs> she came with you. She left with me. That must be painful. I came with her. She came with her. That wasn't painful. Mr. Fab, Missy Slick, tell me where we can't go. That's Richmond, Oakland, San Diego. If it's about my money or my paper, I'm tripping. Make this song viral challenge on the hater, I'm tripping. She give me brain like she went to college, no tuition. I'm lifted. She tell me, yo. So I, I had to start the verse out like that. Like, I ain't tripping on shit that they got to say. Like, after leaving music alone for so long, bro, and then revisiting it and, like, really going, like, putting my foot to the pedal, and now having this song with Fab and Mitchie Slick and AG, like, shit, what, I mean, nigga, what they going to tell me? Yeah, because I, I ain't going to lie. I didn't even know it was a – I started seeing it from the comedy part. Since we talking about going viral, can we talk about the opposite of the motherfucker, yeah. right? Because it's a whole other life. It's a whole other life on the opposite of that. Uh, of, they banning you. Of getting a million views, it's a whole other life of putting you in the grave, man. They just banned my <laughs> TikTok, man, for life, big dog. For I life. start a whole new TikTok. For we was big <laughs> over a million views on my TikTok, and they banned the whole shit. What you do? Man, look, man. I, I So, look. I posted a, <laughs> I posted a comedy, right? Right. And it was of some weird shit. No marijuana in the video. You said, oh, but no marijuana in the video. <laughs> and nothing fired up. It was literally a swisher sweet and a lighter. Oh, that's up. That's it. Boom. Uh -huh. But nothing. I never fired up the, the swish. Nothing. You feel what I'm saying? Like, none of that. And that was my, they tried to give a nigga a third strike, bro, and strike me out, bro, so. Oh, so they give you three strikes? I had to start a oh, whole new, strike. I don't know what the strike <laughs> is they get. It might be five, it might be ten, but whatever it was. It was your last one. I was on the last one. They struck a nigga out, man, so I had to start a whole new Instagram, wow. which sucks, though, because the I'm Tripping Challenge and all my other shit I had going was viral. Right. Like, my, man, so my then that shit you off cracking. getting paid from that, right? When you do that. Exactly, bro. So, so all they, that momentum. It literally cut the on. momentum of the money off. Right. You get exactly yeah. what I'm saying, bro. So they cut the whole shit off. A nigga had to start Ooh. his whole TikTok over <laughs> from scratch. That hurt. <laughs> so now, now at this point, I was talking to somebody earlier, another influencer. I don't know if I'm posting no more weed shit, bro. The weed shit might be done. The weed, the- It should. The extra booty shaking, the Are you extra on that too? Shit, that's Instagram awesome. be making their own rules, and I'm not about to play with them because I can't afford to lose. I'm dropping songs and videos and shit. I can't afford to, bro. My live was blocked, bro. Kids, a big part of my fan base. I've been working with the kids and coaching right. the kids you know, and we get into that. teaching yeah. kids how to make music and shit forever. So a big part of my fan base is the kids, mm -hmm. bro. Last year when they was following me, that motherfucker would unfollow right away. <laughs> It, 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 they'd be like, you do not follow that motherfucker. Boop. Right. Unfollow. That's shadow ban type shit, huh? What exactly. So when you see people on Gram talking about shadow ban and all the other shit, they ain't just talking about no, they ain't. you can't see my video or my picture. They also talking about kids can't follow me, people of a certain age. So I used to post hella weed shit. Like hella. I have a lot of friends who are involved in the marijuana business so it ain't like i'm just posting weed shit me and my niggas kicking it out the house i'm talking about growers and people who are have dispensaries and have different shit i'm posting that bro right, right. and and they're literally stripping me and shadow banning me for that so I, I i didn't made a decision because i have i have a lot of business endeavors and shit i'm trying to get going i can't post none of that no more bro it's heartbreaking up. you gotta breathe up uh huh. Hey, <laughs> shout out to the shout out to L Two Con because I got the Ricky Antonio Red Birio Burrito at L Two Con, man. <laughs> so for such situations like that, I've been having to stop posting the mm -hmm. the weed burritos because right. we had some big ass blunts on there, man. <laughs> so I've had to stop posting the weed burritos and post my real burrito. <laughs> so how you think you can, how you think you can get around that? <laughs> it's tough, bro. You gotta you gotta gotta abide by their rules or or. I don't, ain't that why people get uh, the link tree and all that shit? Yeah, definitely. Why you allow people to be able because to they can find you on what, do our OnlyFans? Exactly. <laughs> you can say do not to, not to kind of like you know. <laughs> <laughs> I know you ain't for me. I ain't motherfucking stripping, but hey, I'm just, shit, uh, where I might be, shit. Now, yeah, look, where for they the posting them millions, huh? But look, right, look. now, because like I thought it was just that, like they like OnlyFans. Nah, so exactly. when I looked into it. Like it's Cardi B, them ain't on there naked. Yeah, they exactly. just giving exclusives exactly. to their fans. What you I was subscribed to. 
Hmm? No, no. <laughs> he said, well, only fans. I ain't paying for them motherfuckers. <laughs> I had to tell somebody like, that. I seen where they put up that, like, they making all these millions, right? Yeah. I'm a research. Anytime they say some shit like yeah. that, it's on. Man, yeah. I had to tell a girl that in person the other day. Yeah, I'm going to do some research. Subscribe it to your only fuck, fans, girl. Yeah, what the fuck I want to see for yeah, five hours? Yeah, fuck with a player. You fuck with a player. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, they tricking us. <laughs> but, like, well, look, they only doing shit, like, basically, they going <laughs> to... They might drop some freestyles, I guess, or whatever on that I, motherfucker. That's what I was about to say. See, the thing about OnlyFans and a lot of these off-site things is, like, it's really what you make the most of it. Right. So, like, if the niche on there is making the most of it, it's sexual shit. For the for the massive, that's what you're going to know it as. Right. You're going to know it as some sexual shit. But if you really dive on OnlyFans or jump on any it's of these other script. sites, nigga, you could be backstage. You could be at every Nets game. Backstage, yeah. You could be at every Talk Nets game players. because you work there, yeah. right? Yeah. Because you're one of the, the, the people who give out the popcorn and shit. I don't have your view you have. I live way in the Bay. You feel me? But I'll subscribe to your OnlyFans because I like Kevin Durant. Exactly. So I'll watch Kevin Durant get his warm up saying that you the only nigga that can get that view because exactly. you there working as the usher. Yeah, you gotta That's the whole nother side of OnlyFans. People just see it and they say OnlyFans because of the Yeah, you know, that's what I shit. thought. That's yeah. Once I seen they post it's a whole like, nother I ain't making yeah. these millions off of, on that mother. I'm like, let me what the It's so whatever you want it to be. It's so it's really be. like Access it for instance, you can follow my whole my whole story. I could have documented when I came into here when we talked and met all that and ate Chinese food and shit. And then that's something you interested in because you interested in Ricky Antonio. Exactly. Maybe that's something you interested. Or in. behind the scenes when you shooting your movies when you. You know what exactly. I'm saying? You might want some game. You might be giving out some game because a lot of people it is game that giving out. Exactly. So, if you follow the behind the scenes, you will be getting game. Yeah, up. but like I said, that's the you paying for it on TV anyway when you when you pay for cable. So you are. You are. So why not? That, 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 so why not that support the first, independent entrepreneur yeah. doing that shit? Yep. That's just I was just saying that as far as because you said they keep uh, uh, blocking your like IG and all that type of shit. And that's why I see a lot of people get their own websites for that reason. Yep. Uh -huh. Like, you can't block that. Like, IG just lead them to that. But if they ever want to see what's really going on with you, they can they logged into your yeah, exactly, website. Exactly, bro. To, somebody tried to call me and shit. We good. Oh, that was you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They might still be. Talking. Don't blow me up in the interview. Yeah, mm. They see it. We live. We back. Okay, we back. Well, yeah, that, that's. So, um, yeah, I definitely want to get into that because I be seeing you with the basketball shit and the. With the kids, like how you get into that, and how long you been going out? I know you say you did, you was in foster care and shit like that. Yeah, so I know it's something personal. You know exactly, I mean? you right, you right on the money. So I would say for me, like working with kids is definitely personal. So it's like I'm working in the same community I grew up in, and see the kids that went through the shit I went through. Like you know, what I mean, not having clothes and a, a adequate place to 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 wash your ass at and shit like that. Like so, I'm seeing the kids who went through the same exact story. That I went through and I'm able to relate to him. So I use that. You feel me? Yeah. Like I ain't I ain't naive to the fact that that I'm you know that you sometimes in life you play so, certain places for reasons. You mm -hmm. feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And so when I'm dealing with these kids and I see the terrain and shit, and I know this shit is only set up to for you to fail, bro. Mm -hmm. Unless yeah. you given a blueprint from a nigga who didn't seen it and real figured out a yeah. little rubric crew to the whole shit. You feel me? Like a nigga, you had to really figure out a puzzle, nigga, to still be here at our age, bro. Yeah. Damn, Coming so from dude. our city, bro. Niggas expired, nigga. No, uh, no, no lie. Mm -hmm. Niggas then went crazy. Niggas then died. Niggas in jail. Out, jail. The whole every, shit. Niggas, you can niggas be. expired by the time I was dealing with all the shit you see coming up, bro. Yeah, by 24, 21. <laughs> it, uh, exactly, bro. So, so when you went. So exactly. Yeah, so now when you reach 30, nigga, like, nigga, this overtime. Nigga, nigga, then, you feel me? Like, so, so yeah, like the youngsters are. And, that I approach and that are uh you know placed in my life, bro. Like I use that shit as a as a purpose, like to kind of explain to them, like you know, it get greater later. Sometimes you know what I mean. Sometimes mm -hmm. that shit might be hard. I know, I know what it is, bro. I didn't been here, bro. I didn't had nothing to eat, cause I didn't had shit to figure out. I didn't had like wearing the same clothes to school the next day. Like I didn't been through that shit, laughed at and funny right, that right. and shit. The whole shit, you feel me? But you keep living, bro. Like figure that. Yeah, you are like, gonna get through it. It's, exactly. It's you gonna get, Yeah, it's you temporary. gonna get through that, bro. Like you gonna be able to figure some shit out, bro, and and get greater later. Bro, so 
keep living, bro. That shit get hard, though. So I try to explain to my students and the people that come across my path that, like, yeah, man, it could be what it is right now. Your parents might have chose whatever they chose right now. You feel me? But it's going to be a time in, in your life where you get the choice. Exactly. You, you feel me? On, yeah. uh, Once you grow. What are you, you going to choose? Yeah, are you going to choose to grow? You going to choose to to keep dwelling or go the path that they went, nigga? Are you going to choose to make the most? Like you just said, make the most of that shit, bro, and, and thrive and dwell. Like, mm -hmm. nigga, there's so much life out here, bro. I thought it was only Richmond, bro. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> When I was oh, growing yeah. up, I thought it was only the rich, nigga. You oh, can't dude. tell me it was nothing outside of Richmond, <laughs> nigga. Oh, mamas, nigga. I was like, oh, you ain't been to the South Side? You ain't been to the lawyer? Nigga, like, it's more than it. Like, man, it's nigga, it's Paris, nigga. It's yeah, fucking, nigga. That it's Nigeria. It's, it's Africa, nigga. Like, it's all kind of shit out here. So I feel like like if, if a lot of us that come from this shit and from this bullshit got exposed to some of this more shit, bro, like, it's other people who live, nigga, don't even talk like us. They don't even and have the same stresses as us They ain't tripping off a nigga Coming to they set and, and shooting that shit up Like it's a whole nother way That they live bro I feel like if we got Exposed to that shit bro Like it'll, it'll open our horizon up You feel definitely, me Like definitely. on everything time, bro I heard of Pittsburgh I thought that's where the Pittsburgh <laughs> Exactly. First time a nigga in the rich heart of Pittsburgh, nigga thought the Pittsburgh Steelers was playing out there, cuz. Hey, like, the all niggas thought on the map was Richmond, nigga. Like, on everything, bruh. So. Yeah, I think exposure is a big part. Yeah. I definitely teach that to my students. Like, you know, go out and see something, bro. You might have think, you, you you think you've seen everything already, bro. But if some niggas don't eat what you eat, some niggas don't speak how you speak, they don't live how you live. Shit you think cool, they don't. Oh, exactly. The whole oh, shit, nigga. Shit. They look at your shit. You think cool and laugh, bro. Like, uh -huh. so go experience that. That'll open yeah, you. That'll you make well rounded. They you ain't gonna do nothing but make you a whole better, well rounded person, bro. You feel me? So, definitely, yeah, that's some shit I, I, I definitely talk to my students, man, and let them know. There's yeah, more life out there. Because that's what it's about. Like, you figure that's really what you want for your kids. You know what I'm saying? The shit we went through, like, ain't no kids supposed to be having to worry about growing up nah, shit. Hell no. Hell no. You know what I'm saying? But At you all. be worried about growing up shit when you young. At all. Because these conditions and At environment all. we live up in. Exactly. So, their mind can't flourish. Like, if you just go to school and just focus on yeah. academics and at, what at you got to do. At that age, your mind only supposed to be worried about flourishing, bro. Right. Mm -hmm. Kid that, shit. That, that kid, kid shit. Kid as long as kid you're shit. supposed to be. Kid shit. But He's, our environment don't. From, from one that, from zero to 18, you're supposed to only be able to flourish, bro. Your parents supposed to only play the role as flourishing, whatever you interested in and what, exactly. you, what you got an inclination to, bro. They supposed to be pushing that, firing that. Nigga, you, if you play football, they at the games, nigga, with the big pom poms and trope, the whole shit. Yeah. That's what they, it's supposed That's to be. Supposed so to be. when you when you grow up, nigga, and from from five and seven and nine, nigga, you raising your siblings, right. you, and worry you, about survival. you cooking, and you yeah. only thing you worried about survival. You have a whole different outlook and a whole different way of this shit, bro. Yeah. So that's what a lot of people don't realize. Like yeah, everybody didn't have that shit to where you just able to. You feel me? Just live yeah. that shit and go to football. Nigga, this shit was stressful, you nigga. The, you in the extra camps and all that type of shit. Yeah, that's a, a dream for That's a yeah, dream that's to a go dream to basketball. I just played basketball and yeah, wanted to be at the, the best. Park. I wanted to be at it, nigga, at the park. I trained myself at the park. I didn't have trainers. I wasn't my parents. Yeah. I wasn't with my parents, nigga. You feel me? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you, you, but niggas put parents put them in trainings to go be a bas better basketball player. Exactly. I wasn't with my parents for them to put me in a trainer. You feel <laughs> me like so that's it's a whole different lifestyle than what people are able to really grasp bro and like for me i give out so much great energy so much dope ass vibes i just be trying to help people understand that this shit come from a dark ass place though hmm. this shit that's come from sure seeing the darkest side of hmm. this life that you can see that made many niggas expire and i'm still here and i'm grateful because like i didn't lost a lot of my partners and, and and relatives like the whole shit you feel me? Like, and for me to have seen it as dark as this shit has been from the jump, nigga, and to be here, well, shit, I ain't nothing but grateful, bro. You mm -hmm. feel me? And you're giving it back to the kids. That's that what, part. That's what counts. Exactly. You just threw, matter of fact, you just threw like a tournament as well. <laughs> we had the second annual Ricky Antonio Rich City Day in the Rich at Berg Park, and we threw a basketball tournament, man. I wasn't. I've been back hoping about 10 months, right? My cutty, no. <laughs> I'm back, my cutty, no, man. Back, I seen you on the hey, video. I hey, seen you on I think a back been fucked up for about four years, right? <laughs> so I ain't hooped in about four years since you was coming to them tournaments and shit, nigga, right? I've been out the game. My cutty, no. 
we better but they should try to get my game back right but so about about 10 months i've been back giving them the blues man real <laughs> i'm talking this nigga no one legged shit three pointer <laughs> dame little range steph curry range the whole shit right about 10 months so we threw the whole we threw the so this time when we came to a meeting to throw the ricky antonio rich city then i said we gotta do a hoop tournament like part of my biggest Fan base and people who fuck with me is for some hoop shit. Right. Like, I've been doing ho hoop. is really a big part of my shit. I fuck with hoop. I love basketball, bro. Like, whether it's playing or watching professionally, like, that's really my shit. And a lot of people who know me, they know that. They right. know even Fab. He talked when we was on the video shoot. Fab was talking hella basketball shit. He was like, "It's like, ah, oh, nigga, you weak. You be shooting over the white boys, nigga, trying to make it seem like you got some game, nigga. You ain't, you ain't really hooping." I'm like, "Fab, nigga, stop playing, cause you, you know at least from the Instagram clips that nigga really do this shit, man. So stop playing. So, so for about ten months, I've been back hooping and shit. So when we put together the um, Ricky Antonio Day this year, we this was our second year. And so I said, we got to do a basketball tournament. Too many people, like, they, they fooling with that energy and shit. You know, basketball is my shit. And when I'm back playing. So we threw a whole basketball tournament at Berg Park in the Ridge where hella people pulled up. Some people I played with in high school. Some people I coached uh, at Rich. I used to coach at Richmond High, too. I was doing some coaching while I was coaching JV and shit. So I was coaching the whole basketball team. Part of them pulled up and competed in the basketball tournament. Some of my former students who was my students, when I fucking worked at the schools, right. they pulled up and played. So it was, it was like family. This nigga was on my team. Like it was, it was a lot of love, bro. We threw, we won the championship. Too. We definitely, cuz gonna, the cuz definitely gonna throw that in. We definitely won the championship, man. Right? I wouldn't come in less than doing that. You feel me? But we had the taco truck. We had the slush, the slush pulled up. We had the uh, slushy machine with the alcoholic beverages in that motherfucker. Uh, shout out to Rich City Rides. They helped me put it together. And I it was, was a, just want to ask you that, like, how would you have sponsors? How you go about it? Like, yeah. if it was to throw a tournament right now today, how you go about it? Like, you had to get permission from the city. Yeah, right. All, all that, that, right? Yeah, definitely. It was uh, people from the city uh, involved. It was uh, Rich City Rise. Like I said, they was they were my partner for the second years. Uh, Rich City Rise, if y'all don't know, they're a um, bike shop uh -huh. right next to uh, Richmond Bart. Bart. Right there. I seen that right on the corner, right? Yeah, exactly. I always right. see it right on, right the, on corner. the corner. They hella dope, bro. They do a lot of community yeah. events. Get your bike fixed. Yeah, go get your bike fi Go get your bike fixed. They throw a lot of like park events where they help uh, homeless people get like you know toiletries and different things that they need and shit right. like that. You feel me? So they a real dope ass organization by themselves. You feel me? So yeah, collaboratively, I just, started, I just started a nonprofit. I'm, oh uh, hell yeah! I'm trying to get it that uh, tax exempt shit first. I'm I'm doing still doing the paperwork and then that part, get them off the back. Go. Yeah, and everybody else, whoever donate, you know they can write it off. Exactly, then. write that shit off. So I'm, yep. once I get that, then I'm I'm rocking and rolling. With That's it. the move to make anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so Rich City Rise, we uh collaboratively put together. Um, this was the second Ricky Antonio Rich City Day, where we, like I said, we we primarily made it around a basketball tournament event. We had Hedda Slim, Locksmith, uh, even I Am Sue has signed on. Man, I ain't really said this out loud, but I Am Sue has signed on to be a part of the entertainment shit before I made the flyer and shit. Right. And once I got too close to making the flyer, he has, you know, a uh, uh, agenda thing that kind of popped in the way and shit like that. He wasn't able to make right. it. But, like, a lot of people have signed on to be a part of this shit to give back to the rich. I want to so. interview him, too. Um, oh, that'd be dope. Hell yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm hitting the circuit. Everybody Rich, that's that's on it, I'm hitting the circuit. Rich City legend, man. Yeah, everybody. So, yeah, the basketball tournament was lit. We gave backpacks away. I mean, it was bubbles in the air. We had horses. We brought, like, a, a, like a couple horses out. People, Kids got to get on the horse and ride. As Cuz said, we won the basketball tournament naturally. I mean, I'm, Are you sure I said natural? I was back. I said I was, was back, Was man. it natural? Or y'all rigged that motherfucker up? Yeah, it's your tournament. It was like above the rim. Won. It was like above the rim. <laughs> it was like above the field was like above the rim. It was like one of those kind of fields, right? Like, like he said, was it rigged? Nah, it wasn't rigged, man. We, we really went out there and did some shit, man. I've been back, man. When I say I'm back, I'm back, man. What? Like, I might not have made it to the NBA, man. <laughs> so look, hey, these, these niggas on face feel like I made it to the NBA, man. <laughs> when you walk to the 24, you see his jersey. Oh, it's in there? When you walk to the 24-hour fitness in the Rich, man, you, my jersey should be in that book. It's only a couple of them. Got it. Him, yeah. Magic. John. <laughs> yeah, big John. You know, me, Magic, Big John. That's yeah. about it. <laughs> yes, sir, man. Big hoop shit. 
Definitely. The the hoop tournament and the Ricky Antonio Rich City Day uh part two was a, a success. It was dope, bro. The kids enjoy themselves. We had a, a bicycle uh willy contest and all kind of shit. We had a lot of shit. Cuz was like I said, cuz was getting his hair cut there. We had a haircut man pulled up, nigga. You can hop in the back of his Chuck and get your hair faded real quick. Oh, yeah, that was wrong. Yeah, we had the whole yeah. shit, so that was dope, bro. Well, I know about the next one. You know, you'll be able to promote it. You'll oh, man, pull up, big dog. Next one. We need you there, there man. We need self made out there. Yeah, it's coming. Self made, self -made network in the belly. Self made, yeah, you coming. ain't paid. Hello. I know. What about um? Talk about your clothing line. You ain't you ain't really spoke on the on the okay. merch on the clothing line. You know, we gotta get we gotta figure out how to get the money. We ain't spoken on that too much, huh? Mm -mm. Excuse me, brother. Uh, so, uh, the Can I Get a Water, though, probably is my immediate clothing line. It's the, it's the sweater I'm wearing and the hat. But I also have this in uh, other um, kind of styles and shit. Mm -hmm. And if you go on my Instagram, I am Ricky Antonio. You can go on the link in my bio, and it'll take you straight to my merchandise website. Merch. Yeah, where you can check out all the styles of hat. Hats and merchandise I got. So the can I get a water though is the immediate one. That's uh about six years ago I went viral doing the E forty skit. And at the end of that I said, Can I get a water though? Ooh. And that shit went crazy. Like it, it went to a million views in five days. Hella people. It was like thousands of comments. Like it was crazy, bro. I ain't gonna lie. For me, uh do, being an influencer and an uh internet dude. This was an influx in what I had going on. You feel right. me? I haven't released a hella skits. This wasn't just like a, a random skit. I had. This was like, you know, me just doing regularly what I do. And this one just so happened to spike like crazy. You feel me? So that can I get a water though shit changed the whole trajectory of, of, of some shit. So that's where the initial uh, line come from and the whole phrase and shit like that. Every time I go up to Fab, Fab be like, can I get a war? Before we had the song, he's like, can I get a water roll? He always, he fuck with it. Like a lot of people. Everybody. Yeah, Snoop had posted the uh, shit. Like a lot of people fuck with the can I get a water roll. That's, that's big love. Yeah. And so from there, I um from the can I get a water roll, I branched off to a dope, uh, uh, a brand called Get Doe. Mm -hmm. So it was like a um I was pushing big. Black entrepreneurship, get your own. That's kind of what right, I was right. doing. So I was mirroring what I was doing and kind of inspiring people to do what I was doing. You feel me? I'm pushing my own merchandise. I'm going viral. Basically, I'm my own boss. I'm my entrepreneur. So I'm pushing people to do that shit too. So it was like, get dough, get your money. Like it was, So that's the, if you see the cannot get a water though, if you break <laughs> it down, within that is get dough. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So I broke it down to two words and you see get dough within the cannot get get a water though hmm. and so that's that's to my entrepreneurs that's to my people who out here trying to get their get money it. that's the people at work that's the people who going to work and whatever you're doing and getting they get nine it. to five nigga get waking up job. at six in the morning that shit getting tired because your back hurting bro that's get dope whether that's for your family your kids your your generations that's past you what do you think and however you thinking like whether that's for your bills today nigga go get dope right. you feel me so yeah Yes, sir. Uh, makes sense. So yeah, make sure they go. What? Go to your Instagram. Go to my Instagram. I am Ricky Antonio, and you'll better go to the link in my bio, and you'll you'll see my whole merchandise uh, collection. Yep, it got all my hats and shirts that I have available right now. Yes, sir. Yep. And, um, as far as this this music shit, you know, we is from the base, so we got yeah. to do the we got to do the the tour. What's up with it, right? Who who you who you listening to right now I'm in the bay? Give me, tell me your top. It don't gotta be in no special it's order. No. Listen to is it bad? I'm still listening to the forty. Or is like a uh, I mean shit. If that's what you listen to, uh, what you listen to. <laughs> hey, look, man, that's for a lifetime, man. Right? Like who you on right now? Who you see working? Who you see grinding? Like who you? Shout out to my boy Sado. Uh, talking about grinding. Uh, King Sado just dropped a new project. So uh, say Sado says. So that's definitely I've been slapping my G. Signed to be legit. You feel me? So he been dropping some new shit. Um. La Russell, Stunner Man, all of them been dropping some yeah, some dope, inspiring as like different type shit too. So I'm I'm always tuned in to type that. I mean, 
JR, I saw you had an interview with that boy. That yeah, nigga yeah, be going yeah, crazy. Going. I just saw him on High Road Day. I let yeah, him know he be going crazy at High Road he Day. He I told let me him know. Got, man, tell me he got 100,000 songs recorded, man. Damn. Say that. Say that. <laughs> man, that's work. I don't even know how you do some shit like that. Man. Say that, man. It sound like me. It sound like me, yeah. man. It sound like me. I don't say it, man. It sound like a nigga I know, man. Uh, 100,000. I told you what I did. I'm tripping, man. It sound like a nigga I know, man. You yep. just get after a while. You just get on the beat saying, uh. "Yeah, he said he said he got he said he got a uh say he been doing this like 2015. So he got a studio at his house. So every day, That's wake up, go to bed. He got hey, to do it. Shout out to Jr. Because re- honestly, when I say that, sound like me, bro. That literally sound like me. Like because I went to the I you know going to nigga studios and shit. That's cool. That's dope as fuck. You know what I mean? But you, that come with a fee. Right. It come with like, <laughs> you trying to get your creative outlet out you in whatever, in yeah, yeah, whatever that time span that, that they zone. got. Yeah, yeah it, it ain't comfort zone. It ain't, vibe. it ain't at your house, nigga. You, you, you most comfortable. I don't care how I don't care how dope a nigga house is, right? You ever been to a bitch house or a nigga house? That motherfucker raw as a motherfucker. <laughs> it ain't nothing like being at home, cuz. <laughs> It ain't shit like being at your house. Uh-huh. You can take a shit when you want to. <laughs> you lay down when you want to. The whole shit. So imagine recording. Imagine creating. You feel me? So it's the same thing, bro. Like I didn't been I didn't been creating in other nigga studios. But like when I made I'm tripping. When I made songs like Funky Fool, which people fuck with, when I made different material, that shit was at the house, bro. I produce shit like when you ask me did I produce, I'm tripping. I produced that in my living room. I produced that looking at the sunlight that come from my roof, nigga, and my keyboard in front of me and reasons running, and I'm just trying to hear a sound that go crazy. And like, oh, shit, that kind of... Uh, uh, <laughs> what's that nigga from uh, House Party? <laughs> uh, Can I get one? Raheem Raheem the nigga that kept fighting. I, 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 I saved one. it, though. That kept hitting the shit? <laughs> Pick it up. What's the name? Blast. I, I didn't say it. Oh, chill, the nigga Blau. at the table. You Can told the nigga yeah. at the table. Yeah. I put my drink this over nigga, This nigga, that, man, we going to catch on fire. <laughs> Look, hold on, catch I'm you. taking this That's shit That's that Don Julio. That's that uh, Julio. Let me see that. That's that Jose Cuevo. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga stupid. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga dumb. Of course, you got it. There we go. Yeah, my bad, big bro. Just for the fourth time. For the, for the fourth. <laughs> Are you very? Niggas that got all the nigga off a of fifth, so it's for the fourth. This nigga the fan us and everything. After this, he say he got some strippers coming for it. Uh, they ain't coming over. Oh, 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 my fault. Hey, my bad, big brother. Look, man, you got your nigga head lit, yeah. man. So we we up right now. Content. What was we on? What well, we was talking what about? Who you was? The who liquor, you was, yeah. We was talking about who you fucking with. You me see you. Music said, wise, we was talking about that shit. Yeah. You was fucking with up and coming. Well, who you want to work with? Name well, some names some motherfuckers you want to collab question. with. That's a good question. I mean, really, like when people ask my opinion on that, my my imagination is like astronomical. You feel me? So like, I even think of like the hoes. I even think of like the Beyonces. Like I think of like that big too. You feel me? So, but I also think of like even like dudes who out here who inspire me. Like like right, I said, right. like La Russell and uh, like uh, Stunner Man. I was just talking to him at High Road Day. Like. People like that inspired me and what I got going on, who out here making their own noise and doing their own thing. Like, all of the artists, like, even Young JR, like, all these niggas, like, bro, we can find a happy medium somewhere, bro. That's some shit that go crazy, bro. Yeah, because that's what, yeah. I mean, that's basically what we doing, what we trying to promote. Like, everybody from the Bay, at least, yeah. if they don't do 40, nothing else. I still want to I still wanna uh, make some stuff with 40. Like I, I think a lot of my uh, fan base think it makes sense. Like last year, Shoot, I got you went I, viral of of, <laughs> of acting like for hey, it, look, the man. damn show makes sense. Hey, look, man, you I got over fi- in the video. I got over five hundred people last year to tag to tag forty in, in my post to say he should be on the remix. You feel me? So I think a lot of people who you know I tell him tag him again. What he do? He ain't see it. Hey, what he ain't see it? Forty. We need a verse forty. Forty. We need five hundred. Forty. We need five hundred. Man, hey, man. 40, we need a verse, 40. Tripping, huh? Nah. We tripping or we tripping, 40? On a remix, remix, remix. Yeah, exactly, because we ain't done yet. We ain't done with it, man. Come out with something, one way or the other. But I always shout out to 40, man. I appreciate the uh, 
the love 40 show me you know he followed me and uh he showed love to what i do he comment on some of my posts and he showed love to the dm so it's always love to 40 you know what i mean whether we ever musically work together or not you know what i mean he just showed um like a stamp of approval right. to well we're gonna make sure when this clip come out Tag him in that motherfucker. Make sure everybody tag Try him that, in that man. motherfucker. Uh. Uh. <laughs> We're going to put an ooh uh on that. That's an exclamation mark. Uh. Yes, sir. Le big legend. Yeah. What's up, man? Yep. And um, so now moving forward, like as far as in the future, what what we got to look forward to in the future? Like what's coming? What you got coming down the pipeline? I know something with the movie, but uh -huh. like elaborate on that. That's a big thing for me, honestly. Um you know coming from being inner being um you know enamored with this entertainment thing like watching movies growing up and watching friday shout out to dj poo because dj poo followed me on instagram and twitter you feel me so that's that's big love he reposts my shit he fuck with the i'm that's tripping DJ challenge Pooh from friday right? yeah from friday uh when he, he said dropping names on the love yeah, when he said grandma he gave me that chain yeah that's he dj poo Remember what he said? Grandma yeah. gave me that chain. Yeah, yeah, man. He followed me on Instagram and Twitter though, so that's big love. He then made his own "I'm Tripping" challenges where he took the song. With this is before Reels was it? You know how Reels got it, where you can whatever song is out, you can put it on there. Reels wasn't introduced yet, so right. he had to like download the song and put it on the video to make his "I'm Tripping" challenge. So he followed what I was doing with the challenge that you said you was in tune to. And he was dropping his own. I'm tripping challenges, bro. So shout out to uh, DJ Pooh from Friday, man. That's yeah. that's that's literally my favorite movie. Like it ain't a movie that's my more favorite than Friday. You so know they what I mean? showing you. They they showing you. They watching and they you know they showing you got the talent. They yeah. I'm sure if you talk to them, they'll tell you keep going. Or yeah, they that see part you going in the right direction. That part. Pooh didn't even tell me so much as to where. He told me he want to put me in a one of his movies. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't show him love in the comment and shit. Like on a comment and publicly, he didn't say it. Like I want to put you in one of them. So that's hella love. Shout out to DJ Pooh forever, man. Mm -hmm. Like on everything. Yeah, cause you know you do a lot. You wear a lot of hats. You you make beats. You rap. You do comedy. You put you shit. You making a movie. Thank you, brother. You, and you doing all this to the neck, independent. You wrote it yourself. You so you know that's. Everybody else that do all that, they end up going where they supposed to go. So uh, thank you, brother. It's uh, only shit. It's and, and only I, a matter of time. And I really don't think a lot of people realize that. Like you know, people see me in the front of the camera, but they don't realize. Like if you consider the I'm tripping song alone, I made the beat, I sang the hook, I made like I made the beat from scratch. Like not like no samples right. and shit. Like I've made the drums. Uh, Played the keys. I've been playing music my whole life, so that's naturally right. That fell in line with what I already do. So. Right making the beat and then singing the hook and shit like that was some natural shit. So shout out to everybody who followed the I'm Tripping Challenge who up on that because that's like a viral ass challenge. It's like bigger than even me, you feel me? So shout out to everybody who fooled with that. Yeah. And then so the and I'm Keep making them. Keep remaking them. Thank you, keep brother. <laughs> you already know. We pushing keep that shit. Keep making them. Yes, sir. Yep. So shout out to Mitchie Slick. Shout out to Mr. Fad. You know what I mean? Shout out to my little brother, hey, Jeezy. We got a remix that's going crazy. Uh, we just dropped a video for it, too. So it's the I'm Tripping remix video featuring Fab, Mitchie Slick, hey, Jeezy. You feel me? Check that shit out. We going crazy. Yeah, check it out. Make sure y'all check it out. Yeah. Yeah, like anything else, like, you know, might be some shit you want to add, some shit you, you know, some people, some other people you want to give a shout out to, whatever. I mean, uh, shout out to Cuz for sliding with me, man. Cousin slid through here with me, you feel me? And uh, we were just talking about that team, that team part. That's what it be, bro. I think a lot of you know, I, I one, <laughs> you get a guy going to that team shit. One thing I realized, bro, is a lot of people who be talking about the team shit, I ain't never played for a team. <laughs> mm. Hey, think about that though. That's a fool. <laughs> think about that. If you ain't never played for an organized team, how you know that a nigga you lay for practice, you run line? Right, or, right, right. Or you got to get your teammate back. or just, Like, sir, shit, you just yeah. don't, you just literally don't know. Right, it's Niggas lot, be yeah, out here talking about hella team shit and don't know. Nigga, when you lay, you run lines, right. nigga. Hey, we might have to run lines because you was late. Everybody Hey, Green, you ain't running lines because you late, guys? <laughs> huh? Niggas running lines, bro. And yeah. that's what people don't realize. People preach the team concept, and I'm glad you delve into that because I've been meaning to really get that off for a minute, bro. 
Because the team, con- people don't really realize that. Like, mm-hmm. unless you really went through that shit, like, you don't really realize where the team, sh- like, you might even be at, like, a corporate job and they talk about team shit. But that shit be based in, like, like a sports type of right. theme type of shit because you got to have your team. All the back. same you principles gotta, apply. It's All the, the rules it, apply. It's the same principles, bro. So, like, a lot of people don't get that shit, bro. Like, people pre- preach that team shit, but they don't get that accountability you have with a teammate. Like, even if you're the star, it's that accountability that come along with that. Shout out to my nigga AI. Practice. We talking about practice. Right. But, like, you know, AI, he's a he's a great-ass player, but he didn't get in the bigger picture is. Yeah. You being so great, mm. make your niggas around you be great when you there, nigga. Right, right. Mm-hmm. Like, because you going to mm-hmm. push us. I need you around me to push you him. Mm-hmm. You yeah. feel me? So that's, you know. It, and he AI. <laughs> my nigga. He AI. He's AI. AI. He's he team, you know. My nigga. That's what so it is. Like, that's, that's a big part, bro, for, like, everybody not trying to be the star player. Like, every so, – so so check this. Hold on. So this is the thing, though, that I realized a long time ago is that, like, just because I'm star at scoring don't mean you ain't a star player. Draymond not a star? No. Star. Draymond yeah. didn't create himself and make himself into a star, cuz? Yeah, he no. did. On, on his own island, though. Be, be, aside from Steph, aside right. from everybody from the Warriors, nigga, he is on entity right now. Yeah. No, he not. You don't have to score a fucking bucket. Yes, he if is. Draymond ain't show you, you ain't have to score yeah, a bucket. Because he averaged one point. Nigga, what? <laughs> Draymond is bugged. But it's all kind of nah, ways. Hey, hey, he, no, check this, nah. though. Yeah. Draymond. Draymond. He the coach. He check take, this, though. He the we intensity. We take Draymond off. Can I say this? one of us can play his position. Hey, no, nope, not necessarily. You know, what I, you know why I say that? You know one thing I realized the other day? If Draymond wanted to be Curry, cuz it would fuck up the whole team. He couldn't the whole be Curry. team. No, no, no. He not, be no, no, no. Cuz look, look. He I'm not. Be Curry no, cuz look. I'm not saying that he could be Curry. <laughs> I'm saying if in his mind the nigga was like, you know what? I can score like that, Ooh, nigga. Yeah. Cuz fuck that nigga. In a light skinned ass nigga. Cuz I, I can get that's, buckets. That's where it's going to. So look, I'm <laughs> saying. Imagine if he thought like that, bro. So for. So no, that's not his what ability. people don't give Draymond the credit for is knowing the fuck what he's supposed to do. Nobody needs to give him credit because that's not no credit. No, you have to. You I know a lot of niggas no who I know a lot of niggas who are on your team <laughs> who think they you. No, nah. it's niggas who on my team who nah. think they me. He, I get buckets. Your, I get buckets, guys. No. no, no. If you, you was on you, my, you, you get buckets. So say this: if See, a nigga was on my, like say, say, look. So look, if I be a great boy for him, we be at twenty four. Definitely. Right. I got to get the rebounds. I got to get the assists. That's a part to play, though. Oh, That's yeah. Yeah. But look, though. He can make millions. He can get a mansion. He can have commercials. He can do all kind of shit by being Draymond, by being the best Draymond he can be. Right, right. You know I your limits. You That's all I'm limits, saying though. is enough people don't <laughs> Don't find their role. And nigga, I can maximize on being slim. I don't have to be Birdman. Birdman can be out here with the grill and in the interviews and shit. I can be slim behind the role and have just as much money, just as much acclaim, nigga, and be slim. That's yeah. all I'm saying. You know, niggas can be Draymond. Draymond ain't no a bad nigga to be. Nigga, you can no. be Curry, but you can be Draymond no, as well. Not a bad nigga to be. Yeah, Draymond ain't a bad nigga to be. Team now. Yeah, he, 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 how many championships? He, hold on, nigga. He, I'm not gonna say he's the great. reason for it. He's he, he he part of the reason yeah, for it. Yeah, Thank he, you. He, he part of the reason. Yeah, yeah. Part, yeah. part up. Hold on, hold on. Check this. Check. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Man, Hold on, this nigga want to get. He want to get this warrior shit right. going. Hold on, look. I didn't want to get no warrior That's crazy. Shit going. Hold on, look though. He we, might be looking for you. Check this. Oh, we man. had David Lee started, right? <laughs> we had David Lee started, right? Yes. I and then what changed the whole game when, when David Lee got man. injured and Draymond Green came to fucking act like they gonna act like Iguodala didn't want to play his position and go to the bench. This nigga brought up because if if Iguodala didn't play, he would have still never. Shout out to Iggy. Never been. Shout out to Iggy. But when 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 David Lee got injured and they was looking for a four to fill in that position, mm-hmm. and Draymond came in and kind of could run that shit hella fast. Mm-hmm. At that time, he could shoot a little bit. For no, the, that was the difference. At that time, I, yeah, he shot better. I don't know what At that time, he shot it better. What is y'all looking at? Nigga, at that time, I don't know. Maybe it was at that time he shot better. Nine points. For the whole I'm saying uh, he career. No, look, when you got a nigga averaging 30 and 25, you don't need to average more than nine, no, Cuddy. No, no, That's no, what no. I'm saying. You don't need to do more Curry than and Clay If you get her rebounds and this steals. This nigga still averaged five points. 
You don't need to do more than that. Yes, it, you do if it, you're it, supposed to be this nigga. Not if you get in 13 rebounds and 19 blocks, nigga. You don't need to get shit more than that. No, you Let don't. these niggas score. No. You will look dumb trying to shoot it when Curry is hitting if you 89%. Miss, nigga, what the fuck? Think, if he starts shooting and he miss, he off the team. <laughs> you nigga, ain't got no business doing it. Curry shooting 89%. Let him shoot. The, do everything you else around role, him man. to make him help him out, bro. You That's it. know your role. That's it. That, thank you. And Draymond gave a speech on that the other day. He was smart enough to give a speech out of camp with a bunch no, of youngsters. He said, hey, y'all, this is what Draymond said. Draymond said, Draymond no, don't know his role. Draymond said, <laughs> no, y'all role. He said, it's two. This is Draymond said out of his mouth. It's two people on the team going to be a scorer. What the hell else can you do around that? And that's why he's still a millionaire. That's why he just won last year. And that's why he's he winning in life. And he's going to win again. He's going to get another. Draymond winning. He didn't make you know the why? most of his talent, bro. You know why? why? Draymond, come on. Guess he with that light skin nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I ain't going to bring up the light skin uh, nigga. Hold on. We got to cut. Oh, we got to cut. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, we're going we gonna to wrap right, it up. Right. But don't worry. We got a sports segment coming. Yes, yeah, sir. We got to see this. This nigga want to get round out when the sports coming. go on. We up. <laughs> yeah, we going to have the sports coming. The self-made sports. We yeah, coming. sir. self -made. You yeah, ain't paid. We coming. You hit me? But yeah, well, I appreciate y'all coming by, Brother, man. thank you for having me, man. No, Can I get a watered off? Big get yeah. dough shit. Make Big sure. self-made. You feel me? And yeah. Promote everything you got going on. Yeah, man. Follow me. I am Ricky Antonio on the Instagram, on all the sites. You feel me? Uh, on YouTube, it's Ricky Antonio. You'll be able to watch all my movies, all the uh, things we got going on. I'm about to wrap up this whole big ass movie I've been shooting. So, featuring Mr. Five, Mitchy Slake, everybody in there. So, it's going to be a crazy ass little uh, cinema that we doing. So, get a verse with your uh, independent entrepreneurs out here that's doing their thing out their pocket. You feel me? Yeah, definitely. That's what this is about. That's the whole point of this show, man. Yes, we highlighting, sir. we giving people their flowers. And we're releasing dope ass music, man. The For music sure. the music is dope by itself, man. Yeah, if even if we wasn't the shooting movie. Even if we wasn't shooting the movie. Man, hello. Even if it wasn't the movie. Listen to that. We're going to start it with that. It just so happened to be a movie. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's all good, man. Yes, I sir. appreciate y'all coming out, Thank man. Thank you, brother. Yes, sir. Appreciate you for having us. All right. Yeah.